Good afternoon, everyone. It's the first time I talk at UK NOF, so please be patient with me. I have a lot of nerves right now. Um, I work from Team Camry. I've been working for them for a year and a half now. Uh, I work as a client support specialist, and because I'm the one setting like the sessions, I thought, let's go for it. Let's have a speak about the services we provide. And the title of the presentation was because I couldn't decide if it's security in the community services or if it's security with our community services. So I just put everything there and went with it like it was. OK. Our first, first tool, uh, you can help mitigate DDoS attacks as a community. And the question is how? Uh, you help your neighbors and they help you back, simple as that. We have this free uh, DDoS mitigation tool called Atters 2.0, which is a free community driven one. How does it work? We simply validate your request and then we forward it out, uh, out to the participating networks. And then thanks to the information we got from the participating networks, we effectively reduce the impact of tweet actors. This way, a single BGP announcement is used to rule them all. The next question, why using utters? Um, because it offers support for geographically diverse networks, better peering, uh, root efficiency, and their PKI validation based on regional internet registry information. It also supports flow specs and increased announcement size for IPv4 and IPv6. And here I've made a little gift to, to show exactly how it works. Uh, next, we have the bugons and the bugon filtering. What is a bugon? A bugon prefix is a route that should never appear in the internet routing table. A packet o routed over the, the public internet, not including other VPNs, or other tunnels should never have an address in a bugon range. These are commonly found as the source addresses of DDoS attacks. Why bugon filtering? Because bugon filtering is a component of anti-spoofing filtering uh, and internet security includes an obligation to be a good steward of those resources that we have in our care. If one sizable network is insecure, it will probably be used to abuse other networks. Um, usually, bogan IP addresses are valuable to hackers because the packets cannot be associated with an actual host. Most routers are unable to, uh, to examine the, the source IP address of a packet. All the router will care about is the destination IP address, so they will forward the bogan packets to their destination then a bogon packet cannot be used to initiate or set up any TCP connection, but can be used to launch TCP SYN attacks, and that's how they are getting used in some DDoS attacks. Next, why filter bogons? So you can prevent private address space in your network from leaking out into the internet, because they are very often used in spam and DDoS attacks and because it will help you, us and you to keep the internet clean of addresses that shouldn't be rooted there. The next community service we have is Nimbus. Nimbus contains uh, the world's most comprehensive IP reputation data, while it offers a nice dashboard, as you can see in the picture. Uh, in this dashboard, we, we can view uh, the top cyber tweets and their associated details uh, and some filters. By using customized filtering, Nimbus allows you to isolate malicious activity by type, network, or address range. It has 18 alert filters and 31 network statistic filters, and then it will match your network flows against over 7 million indicators that are updated hourly. On top of that, it will send a daily report and will inform about remediation priorities in, in your network. Next on the list, it's the IP to ASN mapping service that will give various service options dedicating to map, mapping 
IP uh, numbers to BGP prefixes and ASNs. And this information will get updated every four hour intervals and it will provide details like BGP origin, ASN, BGP prefix, the country code, uh, ASN registry, the allocation date and, uh, and the description of it. And our newest product in the community services is the malware hash registry. Uh, this is a free malware validation tool that searches against more than 30 antivirus databases and more than eight years of Team Camry databases. How does it work exactly? MHR will serve as a force multiplier for malware detection and validation. It's like having a big army of malware detectors giving you insight through a single antivirus solution. Uh, the researchers and analysts can submit their malware hashes via the MHR portal to get near real-time results that tell them the percentage of malware databases containing signature matches. And also this uh, product can be integrated into existing workflows to augment malware detection. And then we have the CSERT assistance program which is a free threat intelligence program that provides cyber threat intelligence to national and regional CSERT teams. And it will provide information like bots, controllers, darknet, honeypots, phishing, spams, or, or even scanners. Our goal would, is to help secure the internet and keep people informed of what we see in their region. And the last that I haven't included in the PowerPoint, and I'm very sorry because I forgot about it, it's our DNB, uh, Dragon News Byte, which is a mailing list that I'm taking care of. And that includes like a daily email to an exclusive list, which will have news from, from, from our world, like a few articles taken from newspapers, from uh, well-known publications, or even our website. Thank you very much. Thank you, Camelia.